Ooh. And are Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Hope you guys are having a fantastic evening. I'm so happy you're here with me today because we're doing something that is quickly becoming one of my favorite segments to do. Um, and it is the Ipsy Showdown between myself and my mother's Ipsy bag. I'm really excited for this one. I did not check my spoilers, but I did see the little bag. It looked adorable in the picture. My mom already has opened hers because she always does. And then she just kind of sits it on the stairs and waits for me to film this because mine always comes like four days after hers does. So it's been sitting there. I have not looked in hers either. Um, this is hers and this one is mine. I literally got it out of the mailbox today. Uh, we filmed the boxy charm one yesterday and it turns out that my Ipsy was sitting in the mailbox the whole time and we could have filmed it yesterday as well, but we didn't do that and hindsight is 2020 and I probably should have checked my tracker, but I did not. So without further ado and more ramblings from me, we're going to jump into mom's package. Just initially love the bag. Oh my gosh, do I love this bag. It is constellations and then there's like a little crystal for the, um, the zipper handle and it looks like a like a, a scrying crystal i love it i love all things witchy and it is definitely feeding my aesthetic for halloween and getting into october and the halloween season so uh i have i did not realize that this is what the bag was i just saw it like really briefly because i was really trying not to look at my spoiler so love the bag super super cute very excited about that now I'm pull my mom's little card out this is find your light cute because it goes with the constellations i get it that's cute awesome and then this is the um the list of what she got which means i'll be able to tell if she did leave her add-ons in there which ones she got um and then which ones she purchased so i'll reach my little hand right in here and okay so it looks like she got an eyeshadow this was i was making sorry i'm like checking the list to make sure that i know which came with her bag and which she purchased extra um so this is by IBY Beauty. It's an eyeshadow in the shade Fire and Ice and really cute little package. It's about like the teeny tiniest little eyeshadow I've ever seen. But, oh wow. Okay, so that's a really pretty like kind of um, almost iridescent dark brown with like purple shimmer in it. And um, the, na the name is kind of misleading. I don't really see Fire and Ice in that. But still a really pretty um, glitter shade. It probably would be one that I would do in like my outer corner and come in with um, just because it is so dark. But that's really pretty. Uh, I don't know. She'd probably use it for eyeliner because she is much more of a neutral person. So for her, that'd probably be a good eyeliner shade. Um, I don't really know how else she would use it. She might. But um, I just don't know. I'm going to pull everything out. We'll see. All right. The next thing that she got is Skin from Iceland. And it is Solutions for Stress. It is Icelandic Youth Serum. So this is actually something that would probably be really, really good for her. Um, she is, of course, she's my mother. She is older. So she's always looking for creams and things that will help keep her skin looking young. She looks incredibly young for her age. Um, she's about one of the youngest looking people around her age group that I've seen. Um, and that's because she has for so long taken care of her skin and done different beauty regimens and things like that. Um, which is probably why I am the way I am because I grew up with her watching her care about that so That's why I care about it Um, and it's not in a superficial way. It's just a, everybody wants to look nice So she's done a really good job of keeping her skin look very youthful and I think this might be a good thing for her to try I know she's never tried it before. I've never heard of the brand Um, so I'll be interested to see what she says about it and if she likes it or not then the next thing that she has is really pretty I I want to say she's gonna like this color and maybe a little pinker than what she would use, but this is a full size Afra times Madison Miller lip gloss. It's a very pink, pink, pink shade. I think it is in the shade uh, Sugar Cup is what it looks like, but it's really pretty. I would love to see, I won't swatch it cause it's hers and I don't want to do that, but um, 
I would love to see what it looks like on. I know I would like it um, just because I do like obviously a little bit more adventurous colors, but I think for her, it actually may be a, a good neutral color for her as well. Um, I think no matter what, it's one that she will use at least a little bit instead of if she had gotten a shade that's like this, which is vibrant red that she would never use. So, um, so far I think they've done a really good job of kind of catering to her specific profile. The next thing she got is Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not really sure if, um, oh, it's from Kalido Cosmetics. Sorry, I missed that. Oh yes, Kalido, I think I'm saying that wrong. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Kaleido, maybe like kaleidoscope. I don't know. It's a nice size. It's I, honestly, by the looks of it, it looks like she got two full size items in this, which is huge. I don't know if she's going to use it or not. She's not really a liquid eyeliner fan, but she might. Um, and it, no matter what, it's always nice to have a good solid black eyeliner in your collection anyway. So uh, I think there's just one more thing. I think I mentioned it at the beginning of last month, but uh, she did get a brush. This is her at least third month in a row getting a brush. So she's like, you know, they're always nice brushes. It's not that I don't like them. It's just, I always get a brush. And I, it's hard to dispute that because I can't remember the last time I got a brush and she seems to just get one every month. So um, it is a really nice brush though. It is called, uh, is a fair Fair Beauty brush. It's got like really nice handles, grips, and a very soft head. Um, honestly, it'd be a good highlight brush. It would be a good blush brush. It would be, um, if you're doing setting powder around your nose and everything, that would be a really nice area as well. But I just really like the finger grips. I'm kind of jealous. I don't think I got one. Like I said, I don't know. I just, my package doesn't feel like it has one in it. So, um, but I'm jealous of this one actually. I really am a big fan of this brush. So I know she complains about it and I know it is kind of funny that she's gotten out three in a row. Um, but I, I, I'd be happy getting that brush. So uh, overall really like mom's bag. It's going to be hard for my bag to beat it because overall, if I received this bag, I would be thrilled with it. Um, even the, the probably the only thing, the, Iceland, the Icelandic Youth Serum would be about the only thing that I wouldn't necessarily go for myself, but it's not, I still use um, like anti-aging stuff just because it's always smart to start early and not have to try and repair later. We're going to move on to my bag. If I can open it. I literally have not opened it. Like I said, I retrieved it today and I was like, oh, no brush. Sad days. No brush. Still love the bag. Just so, so excited about the bag. Oh. First thing I got, I'm a little disappointed with. It's not, I, that sounds wrong. It's not that I think it's going to be a bad product. It's just, it's another uh, clay mask. If you guys have seen me talk about an Ipsy and BoxyCharm, I feel like every month I get a clay mask. I would rather get the brushes than the clay masks. I like masks. I literally have a full Vera Bradley purse. Full of masks. So... I'll try it. I'm sure I'll just feature it in one of my skincare videos. Um... I like doing the skincare videos. I just am tired of getting masks. Mmm. All right. Disappointment. Disappointed! The second thing I got is a Kula Mineral Sunscreen. Hmm. Maybe I should have looked at my spoilers so I would be less disappointed because right now I'm very disappointed. It'll be useful for Disney. Next thing... I'm extremely excited about it, actually. I know the first time I was kind of like, ah, but this one, I've never received anything like this in Ipsy before. The, about the closest thing I think I've, I've gotten um, concealers, maybe, uh, but not often, and normally they're color correcting. This is actually a Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Wear Hydrating Foundation in the shade 03, and it looks like it's pretty dang close to my skin tone. It may be a touch light, but there are ways that I can fix that, so... This is a, it's a small sample size, yes, but that is, I'm pretty impressed that they were able to actually get a pretty decently close shade of foundation to me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try that one out. Oh, the next one I'm excited about as well. It is a very teeny, teeny, tiny little baby version of the Gimme Brow from Benefit. I love the Gimme Brow. It is in warm golden blonde. Unfortunately, I think when I did my Ipsy profile, I was blonde. Uh, I am no longer blonde, so I could have handled a darker shade, but that's okay. It's never bad to have like something to go in there and lighten it up. That's the shade. It is very teeny tiny. It's, I'm sure it'll last like a, probably like a month or so, but it's just a teeny, teeny, teeny little uh, sample size. And then the last thing, I pulled it out of the bag and I was like, oh dang, because this, this sun is a full-sized, full-sized Offer Cosmetics times Madison Moondance highlighter. 
and I can't complain about that. That's hard to beat, y'all. I mean, I'm not expecting full-size everything, so to get something that is like, I mean, you guys have seen the, the Offer Cosmetics. This is a full-size Offer pan, and it doesn't seem any less deep. That's a full-size, that's full-size highlighter. I'm ding dang blown away by that. Um, that's pretty impressive. Overall, if I had to choose a bag all compiled together, I would choose my mother's. I liked what she got much better. But if I had to assemble my perfect bag, taking our two and Frankensteining it up like I always do, I'm gonna go ahead and say I would choose the Smashbox Cosmetics Foundation and the Afra highlighter from my bag. So that's two from mine. And then I would choose the IBY Beauty Eyeshadow and Fire and Ice from my mother's, the Fair Brush Contour Brush, and the Afra Cosmetics Times Madison um, Sugar Cup Lip Gloss. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun filming this one. Um, sorry about my disappointment momentarily there. It definitely was redeemed by that Afra highlighter. Way to go, Afra. Way to go, Ipsy, for sending me it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are so close. At this point, we are at 75 subscribers. I don't know. Hopefully, when we post the video, we'll be at 100 and we'll have announced the giveaway. Don't know. We are gaining subscribers really quickly. I cannot thank you guys enough for the incredible support and the encouragement you guys are showing us. Please, please, please tell your friends to subscribe, even if they don't want to watch me. Just hit the subscribe button so we can get to a hundred, and we can do the giveaway, and then we can get to a thousand, and we can do a giveaway, and we can get monetized, and we can be a business. It'd be great. We'd love you forever. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist.